In this example, I'm going to find the function g compose g as well as its domain, given that g of x equals the square root of 4 minus x. So another way of writing g compose g is g of g of x. So what I'm finding here is g of the square root of 4 minus x. So for x here, I've got to sub in the square root of 4 minus x. So this is going to be the square root of 4 minus the square root of 4 minus x. So this is our function. Now we need to find the domain. Again, there are going to be two restrictions. For the first restriction, we have that 4 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, x must be less than or equal to 4. That's our first restriction. For the second restriction, we have this whole square root here. So 4 minus the root of 4 minus x has to also be greater than or equal to 0. So now we have to isolate for x here. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring this 4 to the other side of the inequality. And we get the following. Negative root 4 minus x has to be greater than or equal to negative 4. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. And in doing so, I have to flip the direction of the inequality. So now I have this. The square root of 4 minus x is less than or equal to 4. Now I have to square both sides to get rid of this square root. So I get 4 minus x is less than or equal to 16. Bring the 4 to the other side. I get negative x is less than or equal to 12. Now divide both sides by negative 1. I get x has to be greater than or equal to negative 12. So we have two restrictions here. And on the number line, it will look like this. So the first restriction allows x to be anywhere along this line here. The second restriction says if this is negative 12, x has to be greater than negative 12. So this is the second restriction. So these are our overlapping areas here. So as you can see, the domain will be the following. x is such that x must exist between negative 12 and 4 inclusive x exists on the set of real numbers. Or in interval notation, it's just negative 12 to 4 with the square brackets.